We have king queen in the small blind. Um, we face a raise from the cutoff and we think that it's a close spot and we fold. Now, this probably is a close spot. I could see player types where shoving here would be pretty good. Um, if they're opening, they need to be opening pretty wide though, like probably at least 30%. And I can also imagine player types that this would be pretty close. I don't think there's a ton of situations where it's going to be awful unless someone's opening like, you know, 10% or less. So in this case, we have a, a opponent opening around 18%. Um, on average, that's an average of all things considered. So in this case, I would put him a little bit looser for being in late position, but then I would also then also want to balance that out by retightening his range due to the fact that at this stack depth, um, with a bunch of stacks behind that are, you know, almost perfect for reshoving, uh, people don't generally raise tons of hands uh, with the intention of raise folding just because it's so costly and it's so common that it may happen. So I don't think this is a great uh, spot to expect him to be opening super wide. Let's go back to ICMizer. And let's first, uh, we're going to find the cutoff here, um, which he raised to 250, and give him an opening range. And I certainly don't think he's going to be super tight. Um, like with an average of 18, I, I could see him raising a little bit more than um, 20%. Maybe not with the weaker ace x as much probably all suited aces and like most broadways and um let's see maybe not the smallest pairs those tend to be shoved by more competent players i really don't know if this opponent is like a reg or a fish uh, his, his stats seem to be a little loose for a reg though um so yeah maybe we can actually add a little bit more of these borderline hands in there Uh, let's go ahead and add some of these this kind of stuff too, because I think that's uh, very reasonable. Okay, so let's stop there. Uh, not a super loose range, not a super tight range, but um, a decent guess for an average villain. Uh, then presumably we will shove, and when we shove, uh, we don't expect to get um, called by the big blind very much at all. Um, maybe a little tighter than that even. And uh, then we have to put it a calling range for the original Razor, which I don't expect to be too tight either. Yeah, we can actually customize this. So let's give him a little bit less of that, a little bit more King Jack, King 10 suited. That seems pretty reasonable. Um, then if we fold, big blind would push a uh, pretty tight range, uh, kind of like we are. Um, maybe we could add King Queen suited in there. And the uh, calling range of it should be about the same, around 17. Okay. And we'll do a little calculo alky. And it looks uh, to be somewhat significantly minus EV. Uh, we didn't give ourselves a lot of fold equity, so you could expect some players to fold a bit more, but it's going to be hard to justify that it's going to actually get above zero. One of the cool things about um, this feature is that it doesn't just show you the specific hand in question. Uh, we can go ahead and put like 0.1 as our minimum edge if we want. But it shows you the entire matrix of possibilities of all hands that you might have. And so quickly at a glance you can see um, not just the range but how much each hand uh, is plus EV, how thin each spot is. Uh, you can quickly see the difference between king-queen off and king-queen suited and, and, and all that kind of stuff. Like you just have a really good quick access to um, lots of extra information that other programs don't necessarily give you right away. Um, the same information is generally going to be available in most programs, but not necessarily displayed in such a quick, uh, friendly user interface like this. So, so that's really cool. Um, again, we, if you if you could definitely turn some different ranges where this becomes um, closer to break even or even plus EV. But I think in this, uh, given this type of player. Uh, this is definitely the most uh, realistic uh, assumptions to make.